Hey guys, thanks for tuning in back to DNA Vlogs. This is the pin from Pune and at the backdrop, of course, you can see my TRK. Now, in this TRK, I had an issue like last year. Uh, a pipe got stuck on the front wheel and it, uh, you know, jumped straight into my uh, radiator hose on the other side, which I'll show you in some time. Uh, and the coolant just ran out completely. So after that, I got a, I quickly got a bash plate made from Outlock Design. Now this is not a professional bash plate. I'll show you all the details in some time, but it does, uh, uh, you know, the it, get, it does give the basic protection that it will be requiring for the uh, bike. I guess I had made a video in the past, but there's nothing dedicated. So you know, I'll be putting this as a dedicated video. Now, as I said, uh, this is not a fully professionally made bash plate. This is uh, just a plate which has been turned at a certain angle uh, <coughs> to match the uh, TRK's engine around here. And we made some clamps, you know, these clamps. Uh, one, two. Uh, so this is coming out from here, rear footrest behind inside. The second one is coming from the chassis over here. So this is the chassis out here. From here, uh, uh, let me turn on the light. So you can see that rusted part, that is the clamp. Uh, from here till here it is coming out. And then the third clamp is out here. From here to bottom it will come, which is uh, this one. And the fourth clamp is from the exhaust mount. And it goes around here and it gets mounted here. Now all this was done temporarily back then but after that I didn't feel the need to change. Uh, today it was out because uh, I had not installed it back after the last service and after the last service I have just done 500 kilometers. Now again I am going on a long ride to Gujarat which will be like around 2500 kilometers. So I thought I will install this back. Uh, it works perfectly fine so far. Uh, aesthetically it might not be the perfect one. Uh, of course, there are vents missing over here for the air to reach the oil cooler and all. Uh, it sits somewhat like this. So this was done as a trial run that time. And you know, if we would have got more orders from the uh, TRK India group, we would have made a professional one. I would have taken help from uh, the Autolog team and made a professional one. Uh, but uh, there wasn't demand that time, so I left it as it is. So right now I'm going to install this uh, back in my bike and show you to you how it looks so this clamp is already installed i never took it off uh, even this clamp is there and even the one near the uh, on the uh, gear lever side is already present so i only need to install this one and then you know uh, all is plug and play everything is on bolt on you don't have to modify anything on your bike your bike remains stock at the time of service also i just need to unbolt everything and the four bolts and the bash plate comes out so it is as easy as uh, this you know piece of cake for installation so the first clamp is in place the that was pending i've put it here and i've put i've mounted it this way uh, so there are there's a bolt and a big washer here and uh, on the back side there's another washer and a lock nut lock nut because this uh, if i exceed the speeds beyond 110 120 there's slight vibration in the bike and i don't want the nuts to go loose and come out i put a, a lock nut over here too. The second nut and bolt has gone in place. I have not removed this clamp, so it's all right. So how this clamp is installed, I removed this complete exhaust bolt out. Once it was out, I put the clamp and then I put a washer on both the sides, inside and outside I put a washer. Okay, you can see there are double washers inside and a washer outside and then the bolt is back. Uh, this has got self. Uh, this has got a bolt uh, nut over here, so it's locked completely over here. It doesn't move, okay. And uh, then I put a nut and bolt, uh, bolt from top up with a washer, and the plate is stuck in it like this. And then uh, there's a washer and a uh, lock nut over here. Now, why I have put uh, dollar washers everywhere? Again, that would reduce. Uh, uh, the amount of vibrations that were coming directly from this very thin uh, plate that I used. Okay, if you use a little thicker plate or an aluminum plate, there would be less wipes. The third nut and bolt have gone here. Okay, as I showed you earlier, this clamp was already in place. This long one. Now, once I've come back from my ride, uh, I'll you know uh, make this properly. I'll make uh, give it a paint job and all. And this is the part that had you know uh, pinched off the the uh, the pipe had 
broken from just from the mouth so i cut around uh, 1 cm of it pushed it back and then that time benelli did not have this clips okay so i put this one in fact it was not this clip there was some other clip on the uh, on the bike which you know probably you can see it in the previous video oh god rusting issues so uh, i used two of these clamps to hold the pipe properly in place and since one year and almost 3 uh, 4000 kilometers this has been running absolutely fine uh, i haven't ordered the pipe from benelli as yet uh, probably i don't think i need to order because everything's running fine now last we need to install one more nut and bolt over here which the clamp is already in place and then tighten all the nut and bolts i've kept everything loose right now because first you need to hold everything in place so that uh, you know it doesn't get tightened completely at one place so i'm uh, tightening the third bolt that i installed this one is completely done it is tightened and it's in place the bash plate by this mount itself is not moving much if you see it is really well in place uh, once i tighten all the bolts i'll give you a overview once again you know i'll show you the strength and all basic strength and all how it is like after moving the uh, bash plate and all again i've just finished installing just three bolts and it is almost tight now just the exhaust one needs to be tightened and then yeah done look at the engine oil it's so brand new i've hardly used the bike so the fourth uh, bolt is also in place i forgot this one ye bhi mount kar diya and now if you see the whole bash plate nothing moves around it all okay whatever i try to shake however i try to shake it will not move but the whole bike is moving right now it is this strong right now now the basic idea of this bash plate is to protect the main pipes and all if i end up in a very big, big pothole or something you know like jaise counting kilometers apne kundan bhai ke sath hua tha so this might still affect the sum for that this needs to be made uh, much more thicker this is less than 1 mm or something right now so if you make a bigger a thicker one not bigger but a thicker bash plate at least 2 3 mm then that will even protect the sum now again people some people will say why didn't you use the trk x ka stock uh, sum guard or something from ali express and all now all those whichever uh, you know uh, bash plates are available online they all get mounted on the engine okay they use some of the engine points and mount on board now to bash plate to mount on the engine doesn't make sense at all because if the bash plate will get impact it will pass the impact to your engine if it is mounted on the engine and the engine point should break and then it all ends up in the same so your bash plate should always be mounted you know on the chassis or surrounding support like exhaust if this exhaust breaks it's fine you can still ride the bike but if the engine breaks and the oil comes out then you will not be able to ride unless you've been able to do some mcl jugad or something like you know kundal was able to do so for in, for such instances you should have always have uh, such kind of bash plate of course this looks ugly because we don't have proper chassis mount around here we could have taken it from here but that would have become very very long and there is it doesn't have easy access to the uh, bash plate over here from the chassis so this was the closest that's why i took the closest mount here i took a test ride and came back i don't feel any vibrations uh, again so i just wanted to show you guys too that there's no vibrations driving the bike up to 5 6000 rpm from this side let me show you the other side too of course you guys might not be able to feel the vibrations because uh, i am touching the bike you guys are not but i wanted to share that there's no rattling kind of from that uh, mount uh, so that it is that sturdy because the clamps that we used uh, they are quite thick and because of which you know there's no rattling these these clamps we have used is quite thick everywhere whichever clamp we used and the mounts that we used the quite thick plus i added lot of washers so because of that the vibration nullifies so guys i'll end the vlog here i hope you found this information useful if yes uh, don't forget to hit the like button and if you're on my channel for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive all updates you know uh, first hand from my channel and uh, That's it. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video very soon. Hold me close till
I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. 